Hi, I'm Haley with Nye House, and in this video we're going to discuss a read aloud during an accurate and automatic reading lesson. So looking at our AAR reading routine, which hopefully you have posted in your classroom to refer to, you'll notice that a read aloud is the fifth and final component of an AAR lesson. It should only take you about four to six minutes and you're going to do it daily. We suggest that you choose a text, and yes, you get to choose the text, it's not scripted for you. Choose a text that will be of interest to your students and that is above higher than their independent reading level. That's really the purpose of a read aloud so students can engage with text that they can't read independently. You're going to do a read aloud every single day and every day you're going to read the same text to students but focus on a different area of comprehension. We suggest that these read alouds be dialogic and what that means is students aren't just passive listeners listening to you read and talk about the text, but they're engaged with thoughtful questioning, answering your questions, discussing, making connections. In this way, so students will be more engaged, their thinking is going to be deeper. When you're thinking about what kinds of questions to ask with your read aloud, you want to be thinking about all the domains of language. Usually we're used to just asking comprehension questions or meaning questions with read aloud. So things like who are the characters, what's the setting, what's the plot, but really you can ask a variety of types of questions with these read alouds. You can focus on sounds or phonology, letter patterns, which is orthography, meaning, or semantics, and this could cover inferencing, vocabulary, um, theme. You can talk about grammar or parts of speech. You can talk about social use, which is pragmatics, or even word parts, morphology. We suggest you choose a different focus every day, but that doesn't mean it has to be the same week to week. It's going to depend on the needs of your students and the text that you choose. Speaking of how to choose text, you can choose a variety of genres, so we suggest you use poems or songs, you can use expository articles, you can use picture books or short stories, you can use fables, folk tales, or fairy tales. The only requirement is that it's above students' independent level and it's something that you can read to them every single day before asking questions. So for example, maybe I'm reading a poem to my students and on Monday I focus on meaning, Tuesday vocabulary, perhaps Wednesday I'll focus on rhyming, which is parts of phonology, Maybe Thursday we'll talk about different parts of speech in the poem, and Friday maybe we'll talk about the theme. It really depends on what your students need and what the text lends itself to. During this time, students are going to be participating actively. We don't want them just sitting there listening, but they're going to be asking your, answering your questions, asking questions of their own, making connections, and discussing the read aloud with their friends. If you have any more questions, you can always refer to the accurate and automatic reading training materials.